Hi everyone and welcome along to this week's cooking vlog. Today we are going to make lemon pepper chicken with pilau rice. So first of all let me show you what you're going to need. So you're going to need some chicken breast, uh, some onion, some garlic, chicken stock, celery, carrots, and that's a carrot and swede mix, I've been lazy and bought that this week. Uh, some basmati rice, I've gone for brown because quite a few of the kids prefer brown to just the white rice. Some frozen peas, a pepper, and then on here I've got plain flour, a bit of salt, and some lemon pepper seasoning. And that is it. So, let's get cracking. So the first thing we're going to do is mix the flour, the seasoning and the salt together. Just in a bowl. Let's get it handed in and give it a bit of a mix around. So the first job, you've got your seasoning all mixed up there. Just to get your chicken breast. Dip it in your flour mixture. And then that's just going to go straight into a pan of hot oil. So just sort of shake the excess off. That just goes straight into your pan. What we're going to do, we're going to fry the chicken for about five or six minutes on each side, just until it's cooked through. So that's the chicken coming along nicely. I've got two pans on the go, otherwise I would be here all night. Yeah, so just browning it off. So we're just browning it off a bit and cooking it through. Same with this one. We've got that a bit longer actually. There we go. Use your thumb. Whilst the chicken's cooking, I'm just going to get the rice on to cook. So for that, you will need half an onion. And then you want to dice it as finely as you can. Really small pieces, just as small as you can do. You can't get it small, don't worry. Just as small as you can chop it up without chopping your fingers off, basically. Right. So, that goes into your pan. That's strong onion, just a little bit of oil. You just want to put that onion down a little bit, just so it starts to go clear and they go soft. It's about five minutes or so. I'm washing my chopping board because my god they're strong. Horrible. Right. Let's turn the chicken again. And when you come to cook your rice, if you're unsure how much water to add and things, it's one part rice to two parts water. So, basically, you might as well say one cup of rice to cook uh, two cups of water. Right, okay, so my onions are now softened down. So I shall add a couple of cups of rice. Just with the onions, there's no water or anything there, it's still just the onions and a little bit of oil. So I've got six cups, three cups of rice. So I'm going to put in now six cups of water. One. And also in my rice, I'm going to put the chicken stock. So a little recap so far. You've dipped your, uh, your, you've dipped your chicken in your flour mixture and you're frying those off. Now whilst the chicken's cooking, you've got your rice on to cook, which is fry your onions for a few minutes just as they go soft and they're clearer in colour. Add your rice, and then add your water and the stock. And I've just turned that up now to bring it to the boil, and then I'll turn that back down. The chicken is coming along nicely. It takes a little while to cook this way. You can, if you like, Get your chicken breast and slice it in half so it's a quite a bit thinner and that way it'll cook a lot quicker. Okay, so my rice is now boiling and I've just turned that down to just a gentle simmer. 
Um, just now and again, keep going back to it, give it a stir, just make sure it hasn't run out of water and it's starting to stick to the bottom and burn. You don't want that. Right, so, my rice is cooking. My chicken is done. I've just got that now on a low heat, keeping hot. And I've put them all into, and I've put them all into one pan. Okay, so what we need to do is, half an onion. Just diced up again. And there's enough oil left in the pan from the chicken, so chuck my onions in. The celery, just into small dice. Wow, these onions are so strong. I've had to ditch the other half of the onion. Can't cope with it. God knows what they are, but my god they're strong. Right. Back to it. The rest of the celery. Some of the carrot and uh, sweet. You can just use carrot if you like, that's absolutely fine. No need to put sweet in it, but it's just the way it's come in this packet, so it's going in. Alright, not that much. That's my garlic chopped up, that's going in. Get my spoon. Same again with the onions, we're just going to cook them for four or five minutes just to soften everything down. And right, pepper. You can use any colour pepper you like. I'm using red. I never use green peppers because I can't stand them. They're just, they're just too bitter for me. And I'm also going to put in with the, the veg now some chicken stock. That goes in. Two of those in there. So that's it really for now. We're just waiting for your veg to cook through. The chicken's done, that's just keeping warm. And I'm just waiting for the rice to cook through. So while that's all going on, I shall just tidy up and get ready to serve it up for when it's all ready. Yeah. Also at this stage, whilst you've got your veg cooking, you could get a full lemon, cut it into quarters and chuck that in. But I don't do it, I've made it before with lem you know, full lemons cut up in it, but the kids said it was just too lemony, so I've done away with that and they can cope with it like this. So if you like it really sort of tangy and lemony, I really would advise putting some lemon in it, because uh, it does make a big difference. Okay, look, so my veg is all cut through, so what I'm just going to do first, before I do anything else, a little bit of my lemon and thyme chicken seasoning, that's what it's called. So some of that, a good sprinkle of that is going in. And then some pepper. A good bit of pepper. Otherwise it wouldn't be called lemon and pepper chicken, wouldn't it, I suppose. That's that. Don't forget, just keep going back. Stir your rice. The water's reducing now. And the rice, I'll just test it. Right. Yeah, right okay there. So there's the sauce, and as you can see, that's just far too runny. It's no good like that. So now we have to thicken it, which I will show you how to do. So to thicken your sauce, basically you need a jug. A little bit of cold water in the bottom. And then some plain flour. That goes into your cold water. Grab a whisk. And you just make that into a really thick sort of thick paste, bit, bit thicker than a, a pancake mix, a batter mix. 
And then you go, are going to do this. You pour it into your sauce, stirring all the time, as long as you're going to help me lumps. You just pour it in slowly, and keep stirring. A little bit more. You can thicken it to however thick you like it. So that's it. Now what I like to do with my sauce is put cream in it. That's the cream on in. I just think it makes it look a lot nicer, better colour. So, that's it, done. I'm just waiting for the rice to finish off, and that's it done, we can eat. Right. Okay, so the rice is cooked. All I need to do now is throw my frozen peas in. Give it a stir up. Okie dokie, right, let's dish it up. Okay, so, nice dump of rice. Chicken breast. And then some of the sauce over the top. And that is it, finished. There you go, folks. So, let me know how you all get on. I'll put the recipe in the box below. What's it called? The description box below. And let me know how you all get on. It's a bit, bit more complicated this week than a normal week, but yeah. Anyway, let me know how you get on and I hope you really enjoy it.